everyone on YouTube, Giosna right here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to improve the battery life on iOS 17 and also iOS 18 with just a couple of settings on your device. So if your battery life is pretty bad, the best thing you could do is to go ahead here in settings and turn a couple of things on or off. So the first thing you should do is to go ahead here in general and then go here to airdrop and make sure it's receiving off. You don't need to have airdrop available at all times. If you do, just keeps the feature on at all times and it consumes battery. And here on airplay and continuity if you don't use it make sure that all these toggles are off and on automatic make it say ask in here because otherwise it will keep on trying to cast to various airplay receivers and it will show you that you can do so on various devices which is not something bad but it's bad because it consumes battery trying to do so the next thing you should do is to go ahead in here on background app refresh and make sure that applications that you do not want to have background app refresh are turned off for example if you do use social media you would definitely want those applications to have background app refresh so that they can get their notifications and data and updates in real time. However, you don't need that for any applications that you don't use actively and you don't want a live feed from. So you can definitely go ahead and turn these off, for example, and only leave on the apps that you care about. Essentially, background app refresh allows apps to refresh their content when you're on Wi-Fi or cellular in the background. And as you can see, it says in here at the top, turning off apps may help preserve battery life. If you have a lot of applications on your device, I only have a couple of them and they are the default ones, but if you have a lot of them, they will add up and they will keep on trying to get their content, each application, its own content, which does mess with your battery. Next thing you should do is to go ahead here on display and just enable dark mode. I know a lot of people don't prefer dark mode, but dark mode is indeed much better for your device in terms of battery life. Every single part that is completely black, like pitch black, not dark gray, it's a pixel that is actually turned off at that moment. It's not just a color, that pixel is just not on, it's just not receiving power, which is great because your device does use a lot of battery on the display. In fact, the display is the biggest consumer of energy on your device. As for the brightness, I would definitely advise you to set it to automatic, but if you don't, just keep it somewhere in the middle, maybe above the middle a little bit. Don't just go all the way up to the max because that consumes a lot of energy. And the bigger the display, the bigger the energy consumption is. Another feature I would turn off is raise to wake. It's a nice feature to raise your phone from the table and to have the lock screen just show up, but it also consumes a lot of battery on accidental raises that you didn't intend. Also make sure that the auto lock is set to as little as possible like 30 seconds or one minute because otherwise your phone remains active and doesn't lock for a lot more time than it needs to. If you don't have activity on it it should lock in a couple of seconds to preserve battery life especially if your battery life is degraded. And the last thing that I would definitely advise you to do is to go here to Siri on talk to Siri and make sure that instead of Siri or hey Siri it's set to off. Yes this does mean that you will have to trigger Siri manually it will not respond to hey Siri but in order to respond to hey siri it consumes a lot of battery just listening and just waiting so if battery is your concern definitely go ahead and do that and this tips will definitely help you improve the battery life but you should know that ios 18 itself is the problem if you have poor battery life the fact that you're running ios 18 beta which is in beta at the moment is one of the issues beta software is always much less stable than standard releases so we should definitely go ahead and downgrade the ios 17 if battery life is indeed unbearable bearable on your device. Thank you for watching. I am Gio Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.